Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's two minute tip video is all about growing peas. Peas are one of the first crops, one of the first seeds you can get out into the ground. Although they can take a frost, they don't like sitting in soggy, poor draining, cold soil. So how do you get around that? If you can get your peas to germinate, they're gonna do really well, get them out, our, get them out early. So the trick that I use regularly is basically Put your peas into a damp paper towel, and as soon as they sprout just a bit, you're gonna drop them into the ground. I'll show you how to do that. So these went into the bag on Sunday. Today's Thursday, five days later, they're ready. So just do this prep work with your peas, and you will pretty much guarantee your, your success for germination. Now, before you get them into the damp paper towel, soak them for about two hours, and they're good to go. Let me take these over to where they're going to go, and I'll talk about a second tip to help you out. I'm going to plant my peas into 10 gallon fabric pots. These are from Root Pouch. I sell them at my seed shop. Be doing a whole series of growing in this space if you wanna subscribe. Now, wisdom would tell you, you know, don't overcrowd your plants. So let's say we put in six seeds into this space. If the plant gets to full maturity, let's just say you could pick 50 pods off of each plant, six times 50 is 300. I like to overcrowd my peas, they do really well crowded together, so we're putting in 10 seeds in here. We're going to have 10 plants instead of six. Now the plants may not get to full size and they may not produce as many pea pods as you know putting six in here, but let's just say the plant that produced 50 when there were six in here or 300 pea pods, only produces 40. Well, there's 10 seeds in here. So 40 pea pods times 10 is 400. You get more of a harvest by planting them more closely together. I hope that makes sense. So it's six times 50 pods is 300 pods. 40 times 10 plants is 400 pods, and you get 100 more pods. Prepare the soil, loose, drains well. You don't want peas sitting in soggy soil, even if they germinate, this is gonna drain perfectly well. We sprout them indoors, and we just gently take them about an inch deep, and we drop one pea into each hole. This pre-sprouting will make a big difference. Now, even if you have some peas that haven't sprouted, because most of them have, they're ready to go into the ground. So once they're about an inch deep, cover them up. I just drop a tomato cage over here because I won't be using that for tomatoes for a good eight weeks. Peas do need to trellis up something because they have hollow stems. Pre-sprout your peas, have more success. Put more peas into a space, you'll get more pea pods to the table. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing two minute gardening tips every Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks for watching.